In this lesson, we will drive equation of straight line in symmetric form from parametric form of equation of straight line, which was derived in previous lesson. Let's get started using the symmetric form of equation of straight line. So symmetric form, symmetric form of equation of straight line straight line what was the symmetric form of equation of straight line that was x equal to x1 plus x2 minus x1 time t and y equal to y1 plus y2 minus y1 time t. This was called the symmetric form of equation of straight line. Now if we find value of t from equation 1 and 2 from both from 1 and 2 from 1 and we are going to find value of t and here we do for 1 that is x minus x1 equal to x2 minus x1 time t and for equation 2 we have similarly y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 time t and the next step we are going to calculate the value for t and this will give us x minus x1 over x2 minus x1 equal to t and here we will have y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 equal to t. Now because both are values of t, therefore they must be equal. This implies x minus x1 over x2 minus x1 equal to y minus y1 over y2 minus y1 equal to t. Now considering first two parts of this inequality uh, of this equality considering first part first part of the equation of the equation what we have here in the first part is x minus x1 x minus x1 over x2 minus x1 equal to y minus y1 over y2 minus y1 this is first part of this equation and if we multiply y2 minus y1 on both sides maintaining the equation we will have y minus so let me write it down multiply multiply both sides by y2 minus y1 so what we will have here is y minus y1 will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 time x minus 
x1. This is the form we get. Let's call this as equation 3. And if we write it again, but y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is equal to slope of slope of line joining joining points if there were two points A and B this was with coordinates x1 y1 and this was with coordinates b x2 y2 then x2 uh, y2 minus y1 was rise and x2 minus x1 was the run so this was equal to slope of the line joining a x1 y1 and the other point b x2 y2 also slope is equal to slope of line is equal to tan alpha suppose if this was the line that was making an angle alpha with the line uh, with the x-axis if these were x-axis we also know that slope of this line L which makes an angle alpha with x-axis is equal to tan alpha. This means that the part y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is equal to tan alpha because both are slopes of the same line. If we substitute this value in equation 3, substituting, substituting this value of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 in equation in equation 3 what we get is y minus y1 y minus y1 is equal to tan alpha into x minus x1 and if we replace tan alpha by its equivalent value we also know that tan alpha is equal to sine alpha over cos alpha so let's replace tan alpha by its equivalent value y minus y1 equal to sine alpha over cos alpha into x minus x1 and now if we bring sine alpha on the other side this will become y minus y1 over sine alpha equal to x minus x1 over cos alpha and this was to begin with it was equal to t which is called symmetric form of equation of straight line which is called equation of straight line equation of straight line straight line in symmetric form in symmetric form 